Finally, Microsoft has released Windows 11 25H2 to the release preview channel. Now, if you are Windows Insider, you are actually able to download the official ISO of Windows 11 25H2 to your computer. And I will show you how to do that just in a minute. But what does actually this mean for Windows 11 stable users? Now, release preview channel, it means that there will be no more updates to this version of Windows. So 25H2 and basically Windows will ship this version of Windows with an update in upcoming weeks. And this is actually the build number. So 26,200.5074. And stable users will also get this update on their computers very, very soon. However, if you want to try it out completely for free, this is right now the latest release on the release preview channel. So 26,200.5074. It means also that there will be no more changes to this build and that this build is actually going to be the stable version of Windows 25 H2. Windows 11 version 25 H2 will actually be delivered as an enabling package and you can see here how this is going to look like in an upcoming weeks so this is the update message which you will get inside windows update and this is how you guys will also install it on your computer click on download and then just simply install one interesting thing also about this that this update uh, release is actually quite massive if you want to download the iso you can see here that this windows 11 25 h2 here is 7.59 gigabytes in size i think that this is a massive size increase compared to this Windows 11 24H2 ISO size. You can see here, this one is only 5.4 gigabytes compared to the 7.59 gigabytes, which is 25H2 Windows release. So two gigabytes increase of the upgrade, as you can see, 24H2 compared to the 25H2. Now, let me show you how to download this ISO on your computer with the Microsoft account. So basically what you'll have to do, you will have to have Microsoft account if you don't have one, you can just create one completely for free on their website. And then you will go to this website called Windows Insider Preview Downloads. I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. Make sure that you also enroll inside the Windows Insider Preview channel. And then you will go to this website. And here down below, you will scroll down until you find this select edition option. Here, you will select this one right here. So Windows 11 Insider Preview, Release Preview Channel Build 26200. Click on this and then click on Confirm. And then you will just wait for a few seconds until you see this option to select the product language. Here, I will select English International and then you can click on Confirm. And then this website will give you ISO file completely for free. As you can see, you can just click on 64-bit download and you should get the ISO file. You can also download this ISO file completely for free, even if you don't have a Microsoft account. You will just have to go to this website. It's called uupdump.net. And then here, once you are on this website, you will see this option called latest release preview build. You can just select here X64, or if you have Snapdragon processor, you can also select here ARM64. And then here, once you've clicked on this, you will be redirected to this website. And then here you will see two of the Windows versions. The first one, as you can see, is Windows 11 version 24 H2. However, the second one here, as you can see, is Windows 11 version 25 H2. And this is the one which you will actually download on your computer. So this way you guys can also download the latest Windows 25 H2 ISO without actually having Microsoft account. Now I will install this version of Windows on my computer. And I will also try to figure out if you can actually use local account during the actual installation of this latest release of Windows. So 25 H2. Now I think that it is still possible to actually bypass Microsoft account in Windows 11 25 H2. On the actual setup screen here where you choose your region, you will have to enter this command start mscxh local only. So this is the command which you will run and uh, then you'll be prompted with this pop-up create a user for this PC. And that way you will be able to actually create a local account 
during the Windows 11 25H2 setup, which I think is super cool. And the best part is that you don't even need an internet to use this feature. So yes, you can still create a local account during the Windows 11 25H2 clean installation. Now let's go through the biggest changes inside this Windows 11 25H2. Here I am actually running on the Windows 11 25H2 on my computer. So if I go here to the settings, I can also show you here that I am running on Windows 25H2. As you can see, this is the actual build 26,200. So uh, let me show you the biggest changes here present inside this build. Now the one major change actually is right here. As you can see, this is the brand new start menu inside Windows 11 25H2. And you can see here on top, pinned applications, then we have also all applications, and then we have this folders down below. And this is how it looks like inside the actual folder. So overall, I think this is a great improvement compared to the previous start menu implementation. And this is the brand new, which comes with 25H2. And I think this is actually a good thing. Now, the next major thing is here that they also introduced this option to seamlessly resume apps from Android phone on PC. As you can see here, this is from their screenshot. So you can actually resume from your phone an app on your computer then. And for example, this is an example for Spotify application. Basically, if you have a Spotify open on your Android phone, you can then also open it on your Windows computer and vice versa, which I think this is a great thing which they brought from the Apple ecosystem. And they also introduced the battery iconography from the lock screen. So pretty much if I go here to my lock screen, I can also show you that we have this brand new icon here at the bottom right corner. It is improved compared to the Windows 24 H2. And now inside Windows 25 H2, this is the brand new icon, as you can see. Now, the next big thing is also here. The Windows 25 H2 actually also introduces this brand new panel next to the start menu. So as you can see here, you will see this brand new panel for your phone inside Windows 11 25 H2. And this is what it's going to actually look like. So you will have this right panel and then you will be able to message someone, call someone, and you will also see here recent activity. And I think it looks very, very nice, never the less. And the great thing is about this that it also works with an iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, you can also use all of these features on Windows 11 25 H2. You're not only locked on Android, but you can also use the iPhone as well, which I think it's a good thing. Now, I think that this update, so Windows 11 25 H2 should be coming out in a upcoming weeks. And hopefully you will be able to install it on the latest stable release of Windows as well very, very soon. So yeah, I think that this is pretty much it for the Windows 11 25 H2. If you want to try it out, you guys can also always download it inside the Windows 11 preview channel and the ISO files are right now available. And compared to the Windows 24 H2 files, they are actually a bit big, so 7.59 gigabytes in size. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash up the like button on this one. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack which will take your desktop to a whole new level. And I will leave a link for it in the video description down below. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.